A daycare worker in St. Charles County is facing disturbing charges tonight. Police accused the 19 year old of molesting a four year old girl. Fox 2's Jeff Bernthal is live outside the police department with a look at the allegations, Jeff. Yeah, police say that this uh, individual uh, molested a four year old girl at her daycare. They say he is also accused of having child pornography on his phone. Police identify the 19 year old as Rudolph Lovati. Online records indicate he lives at the Turnberry Place Apartments in St. Peter's. He's charged with child molestation and promoting a sexual performance by a child. To even hear something of this nature, it's, it's revolting. Police are not identifying the daycare the victim attended. They say Lovade did mostly kitchen work, but did have access to children. Police allege there is one four-year-old victim. She was the only victim at this time that we're aware of, that we've been able to determine. So, But like I said, the investigators are still following up on it just to make sure that there are not other victims. St. Charles County shared this file video of the St. Charles County Cybercrime Task Force. Police say that unit, comprised of members from several area law enforcement agencies, received a cyber tip from the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children and the Missouri Internet Crimes Against Children Task Force. That tip indicated Lavade worked at a daycare. So our investigators basically made this a high priority case. Bail said within six hours, Lavade was in custody. Police encourage everyone to report any inappropriate images they see and for parents to listen to their children for any signs of abuse. Parents are trying to do the best they can and then to hear something like this take place at a place they thought their children were safe, I know that has to be very shocking and disheartening to them. And again, police are not identifying the daycare. We are told that Lavadi was jailed without bond. Reporting live from St. Charles County, Jeff Bernthal, Fox 2 News.